think I'm perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bitch is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bitch is perfect. What is up, you guys? It's Red Cruz here, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can actually get your own font on Pixel Lab and stuff like that. It's very easy and very simple. Most of you guys do know how to do this, but for the ones who don't know how to do this, I'm just going to uh, show you guys real quick. So you guys want to go to the link in the description. You got it will take you to this website called thefont.com. Now, once you guys have done that, now you guys get to search or just choose whatever a font that you guys want. So let's say if I want a comic font, you get these fonts right here, the 3D, the Adventure, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Chopper. That one actually looks really, really cool. So I'm going to download that one. It's going to start downloading. Don't open it. Once, once it says uh, download it, what you guys want to do now is just come out. Oops, I opened it back up. Uh, you guys want to come out and go to your ES File Explorer. Once you guys are in... Wait. Once you guys are in ES File Explorer, now what you guys will need to do is go ahead and tap on download. Once you guys are in download, now what you guys will need to do is just tap on it and just open up at ES Zip uh, yeah, Viewer, whatever it's called. Now, as you guys can see, you guys will need a TTF. So this is what you guys want to do. Wait, if you guys get an OTF and you guys don't have like nothing else, like there's no TTF, what you guys want to do is you guys want to hold on it and you guys want to extract. Once you guys have done that, you guys are going to back out and it'll make a new folder for it. Now what you guys will need to do is hold on it and go to rename. And once you guys have hold on it, you just guys want to just go to the O, back out the O, and just press uh, T and press OK. And now what you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is press cut and go on ahead and go into your home. It's, it's always in the home page, so don't worry. You guys don't need to open up Android or anything like that. You guys want to go to your home and go into fonts and just paste it there. Now that you guys have done that, now that you guys will need to do is just go on ahead and just, oh, it's right here. You just go on ahead and just open up Pixel app. Once you guys have done that, now you guys want to tap on this A and just go and go to edit. Type in whatever name you want. So for this, I'm just going to type in Wrath, I guess. It doesn't really matter right now. So I'm just going to tap in Wrath. I said tap, type in wrath. And then you guys want to scroll over. And you guys want to come over to font. And you guys want to go to my fonts. And as you guys can see, you guys got your chopper right here. And this is actually a really dope font. I'm not even going to lie. It's actually really cool. I might be using this for like uh, another uh, banner or so. Because that is a really good um, a really good font. Otherwise, uh, other than that, you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, please give the video a thumbs up if this did help you guys out. I know most of you guys know how to do this. But if you, if this is for the ones who don't know how to know. And I'm just going to increase the size real quick. I'm good. All right. That actually looks pretty nice. Um, <laughs> uh, just uh, I hope you this did help you guys out. <laughs> just give the video a thumbs up if, you, if it did help you guys out. And you guys can now use fonts towards your banners and logos and stuff. Also, my next tutorial is going to have to teach you guys how to make a logo. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.